I mean, I think there is, there is sort of destiny, but there is, there's choice, you know, that comes along with, I guess, whatever's presented to you, you know, as fate will have it, you know, and then you, and, but then I'll, but then I also am a firm believer that everything's presented to you for a particular reason, you know, and you make those choices for whatever reason destiny intends for you to do, you know, um, so, you know, I don't know what comes first, the chicken or the egg. I think when they've been around one another uh, enough and all of the ghosts come out from, from their past yeah. and they're free enough to, uh, to show the emotion, mm -hmm. good and bad, mm -hmm. um, she experienced a great deal of hurt from his decision making early on and they, they address that. And to me it's like the scene where they're so the emotionally is, raw. Yeah. Um, and the, the sort of romanticism behind that too, where it all just all, you just, the yeah. honesty yeah. in that is yeah. powerful. The restaurants in Australia are some of the best restaurants I've ever been to. Um, the beaches are extraordinary there because you can go on a road trip and stop off at any old beach and have a surf and there's no one on it. Uh, and uh, like the, the slang. Australian phrase in there too, have a surf. <laughs> have a surf. And stop and have a surf. <laughs> And the slang, the slang is just awesome. You know, I, you know, I appreciate being lazy with my words. So Brecky, Sunnies, you know, footy. all of the, you know, yeah, Footy, all of those things. Lush, which the the setting um, of New Orleans. Hunger, because. I ate my way through that city like nobody's business. Uh, we thought she was going to say hunger for love. Uh, no. <laughs> no. no, just the no, New Orleans just the food. food. I just love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, destiny, I guess, is one. You know, it's kind of on the nose, but uh, the idea of destiny. Yes,